to add fractions uh, with, uh, you know, where, where the numerator and the denominator were whole, were whole numbers, you started by adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. So let's, let's look at those first. Um, with common denominators. <laughs> Now, let me remind you how that works. We'll start with a problem that you already know how to do. Suppose that I gave you the problem um, 1 12 plus 7 12. If I give you this problem, which you will not have on the test, I promise you. Oh, man. I promise you that. And you, can, you should be able to do it, right? Yeah. So what would be our answer? Well, before that. Okay. 8 over 12. 8 over 12. You, the point is that if you're adding 12s, you're going to get 12s in your answer. You have a common denominator. This is the, the size of the, of the fraction that you're adding. You're adding 12s, you're going to get 12s. How many? Well, you've got 1 here and 7 here. That's a total of 8. And then, if possible, you reduce. Now, you would just probably reduce these fractions or simplify them in your head. I'm going to do the factoring approach. I'm going to factor the 8 with prime numbers. 2 times 2 times 2, and you don't have to do this. I just want to draw a parallel between what we do with polynomials and what we can do with numbers here. The factors of 12 are 2 times 2 times 3. So I add it, then I factor my numerator and my denominator, and then I cancel what I can. What will go? A 2 with a 2 will cancel out. What else? A 2 with a 2. A 2 with a 2. And then That's what's my final answer? 2 thirds. 2 thirds. This is going to work exactly the same way with, with uh, polynomials. The only difference is this step. Factoring whole numbers into prime numbers is, is fairly simple. Factoring polynomials, well, can be a little more challenging. So let's take a look at, at an example. Simple example first. We'll start with. 2x plus 1 over 4x plus 6 plus x plus 6. And here I am going to have 6x plus so suppose I gave you this, this two fractions. The first thing I want you to notice is that your denominators are the same. Right? And therefore your answer is going to have what denominator? 4x plus 6. 4x plus 6. Exactly. It doesn't change. Just like you did right here. Right? The numerator, now you have to be careful. If you have an addition right here, then all you do is combine like terms. If this is an addition, all you need to do now is combine like terms. So we'll let's do that. 2x plus 6x. 1 plus 5 is 6. six. And as everybody knows at this point, you can just look at the 6 and at the 6 and cross them out, right? Cross out the 6s, they cancel each other? No. That's right, they do not. It's tempting, but you cannot cancel them there because that's an addition right here. If we're about, if, if we're going to be able to simplify this fraction, we would have to do something similar to this. Yes? Can you cancel out the 8 and the 4? Could we? Yeah. Well, it's tempting. We're multiplying here, right? But again, the whole expression 8x, there's a plus right here that keeps us from canceling anything. You cannot cancel uh, anything from the top to the bottom as long as you have an addition right here. You have to change that into factors. Something that you're multiplying. The 8x is being added to the 6, so you cannot cancel anything from, from, that, uh, from that term. Nothing can cancel here until we, we have factored. So let's see if there's any factoring that we can do. Do we have any common factors here? Yes. What? Two. There's a 2. There's a common factor 2 that we can pull out. And what do we have? 2 times x plus 3. Very nice. And on the bottom, any common factors? I'm sorry, oh, 4x plus 3. 2 times 4x is 8x, and then 2 times 3 is 6. Very good, thank you. How about here? What's the common factor? 2. two. There's a 2 in common. 2 times what would give me 4x? 2x. 2x plus 
What can I cancel then? The two. Just the two. That's it. Even though there's a three here and the two and the four, we tempted cannot. Either the whole thing goes or nothing goes. But here, I have these common factors that. So what's my final answer? 4x plus 3 over 2x plus 3. And you cannot simplify this anymore.